Albert Evans 1 minute Thursday, January 17, 2019 Green Party MP Caroline Lucas gave a gloomy assessment of the Theresa May's chances of reaching an agreement with opposition MPs saying the PM remains trapped in cage of her red lines on Brexit. The Green Party's sole MP, for Brighton Pavilion, said that the embattled PM is unwilling to back down on key demands she has held since taking office, making a solution unlikely. Theresa May is talking to opposition parties to find a way to get the Commons to ratify her deal negotiated with the EU, after her historic defeat on Tuesday evening. Too little too late, in a video published on her Twitter account, Ms Lucas said, See I've just come out of my meeting with the Prime Minister. I think the tragedy, really, is that it has taken her two and a half years before she was willing to reach out across the house to talk to other parties, this is far too little too late and she is still so set within her cage of red lines that she has created for herself it's impossible really to think that she's going to be able to find a way forward at this point, Theresa May has long said she will not accept continued freedom of movement and jurisdiction of European Court of Justice, which are both integral to the workings of the EU's single market. Rule out no deal, Caroline Lucas, the Green Party MP for Brighton Pavilion. Photo, Getty, one of Ms Lucas's demands was that no deal should be ruled out by the PM, who has spent much of her time in office arguing that no deal is better than a bad deal, Labour and the Liberal Democrats have called for the same thing as a prerequisite to talks. Mrs May has been forced to seek a compromise by the scale of the historic defeat on Tuesday, when she was beaten by 230 votes due to a mass Tory rebellion. Read more, what a no-deal Brexit would mean for the UK Ms Lucas said, I made the case strongly that no deal has to come off the table, she is essentially blackmailing MPs by leaving. If they're in it's within her gift to get that off the table, I made the case for extending Article 50 and I made the case an incredibly strong case for a people's vote. We had a robust discussion about that, I hope I was able to put some of her fears at rest about the concerns about a people's vote, the next few days will be really instrumental in seeing what happens but I feel pretty sure that she going to have to come back to the country in one way or another. Meetings throughout the day Theresa May leaves the lectern after delivering a statement to members of the media in Downing Street. Getty, Mrs May is due to see groups of MPs representing different bodies of opinion during the day, while cabinet ministers were reported to be talking to their opposite numbers. A group of Tory Eurosceptics including former Brexit Secretary David Davis and ERG Vice Chair Steve Baker were seen entering the Cabinet Office, as did separately the Chair of the 1922 Committee of Tory Backbencher, Sir Graham Brady. Lib leader Vince Cable struck a slightly more hopeful tone and said it was positive that Mrs May had expressed a willingness to carry on talking after he told her that his party wanted the prospect of no deal taken, off the table, and a second referendum. The fact that my team are willing to continue talking to her team of senior ministers this morning suggests that at least there is a willingness to explore these things, Mr Cable said. Mrs May is expected to maintain an intensive round of meetings and phone calls before setting out her plan B on Monday, in a Commons motion which crucially can be amended by MPs. Amendments are expected to be tabled to seek parliamentary support for a range of options, from ruling out no deal to extending the two-year Article 50 process or calling a second referendum. Additional reporting by Press Association. More on Brexit Brexit politics video Brexit deal Green Party no deal.